Hello, hello. Hello, Victor, how are you? I'm fine, thanks. Hello, Delia. Oh, thank you for connecting on Friday. I'm very sorry. Yesterday I was sick and I couldn't attend the class, but I am here. I am alive. Okay. I am back. Hello, Wilfredo. How are you? Welcome. They are connecting the audio. Let's see. Okay, okay. Good, very good. So, excellent. Hello, Estreberto. Hello, Delia. Hello, Jose. Hello, Ronnie. Welcome to the class. Well, my dear students, do you remember what were we studying in the previous class? Do you remember what were we studying in the previous class? Uh -huh. ¿Qué vimos en la clase anterior? Do you remember? I think we talked about pronouns, I guess. We were talking about pronouns. What else? We were talking mm -hmm. about the verb to be. We were talking about, about this. Okay. There. Ah, you this see. Thing. Oh, that's what we're going to do today, right? We are. We were talking about introductions, personal questions, um, spelling. We were talking about names, and oh, greetings. We were talking about greetings as well. So today, that's the importance of taking notes. Ya ven, es ahí, es ahí la importancia de tomar nota de todo lo que hacemos y lo que vamos a hacer. We're going to continue. In the last class, let me see, I have it right here. In the last class, we were doing different questions, right? We, uh, we were asking different people's names. We were asking about a specific phone numbers, right? We were doing numbers as well in the previous class. And uh, we did this conversation. This was the last conversation that we did. Let's see if you remember. It says, hi, are you Ashley Nevins? <clears throat> no, I am not. Oh, I'm sorry. What was here? Do you remember? What's your name? What's your name? Carrie Moore. How, how do you spell, spell your first name? How do you spell your first name? Very good. Uh, K-E-R-R-Y. Mm, how do you spell your last name? How do you spell your last name? M-O-O-R-E. And? What's your phone number? What's your phone number? It's 618-555-7120. Right? This was the last thing we did in the last class right and we were doing a, a little practice for sure the greetings hello and goodbye that was the last thing we did in the previous class today we are going to go over right today is our class number four and we are going to go over what's this and what's that right what it's uh, this used for and what is that used for we're going to get to know in this class Right, remember the agreements of our classes. Practice your English as much as possible. Ask for help whenever you need. Keep your cameras on all the time. Attend your sessions on time. Participate as much as possible. Keep a cooperative attitude during class and collaborate with your friends in the WhatsApp group. Welcome to class number four. Today, we are going to study these, that, these and those. I assign a homework. Do you remember? ¿Se acuerdan de yes. la tarea? The different yeah. things that you have in your bag or in your purse. Diferentes cosas que tenemos de repente en la cartera o en, en la mochila. What are some of the things that you always have in your backpack or in your purse? You can mm. mention different things. 
Mm, so makeup. Makeup, good. Mm, notebook. Notebooks. Yeah. What else? Mm, eye, eye brush. The hairbrush, right? Hairbrush, <laughs> the hairbrush yeah, but don't use <laughs> <laughs> Well, in this case, one of these ones is a comb. It's, comb. it's a comb. comb. The hairbrush is bigger. Oh. Yeah. No, I have a, uh, a, a big one. A big one. <laughs> okay. What else do you have? Which one? Which one, Rory? In the pinza, uh, or polygraph. Ah, yeah, pen, pinza, pinza, they say. Tweezer. <laughs> Yeah, the, the tweezers. Yeah, exactly. The tweezers. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. I I have one. <laughs> what else do you have there in your in your bag? Personal cleaning supplies. Personal cleaning supplies, right? They, you have the deodorant. You have your perfume. You have uh, I don't know wet towels. Toothbrush. Or, or the toothbrush. The toothpaste. Yeah. Uh, yes. Soap. 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 Alcohol. Alcohol, right? An extra mask. Nowadays, yeah. you need to have extra masks. Because imagine if you are on the street and blah, it ruins. Oh my goodness. No. You need to have extra masks. How do you say en juague bucal? Oh, that is a mouthwash. Mouthwash. Thank you. You have everything. You have everything there. <laughs> I can see yeah. it. Yeah, okay. because I work yeah. as a Being customer back service. Back. Ah, that's why. Yeah, you need to be very clean all the time. Customer. Ruler. A ruler? A ruler. Yeah, in some cases. Well, in my in my backpack, you find all these things, right? Yeah. Okay. What? Uh, Wait, which one? Keys. 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 La llave. La yes. llave. Keys. Keys. Yes. Yes, the keys. Good. No, not the keys. No, that's another type of keys. <laughs> no, you find the keys, right? The keys. Good, very good. What is something else that you have to have in your backpack? Do you have glasses? Glasses. Uh huh. Glasses. Do you have toilet paper? Happy. Yeah. Um, uh huh. What else? Stapler. A stapler? Una engrapadora. In your bag? Yes, maybe. It's like, or what? <laughs> we never know. <laughs> it's like, ¿quién carga una engrapadora? Me. <laughs> Herramientas, ¿cómo se dice? Tools. 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 Ah, pues money. eso sí. Lo... Money, money, tools, IDs. Yes. Right, your ID. You need to have it. Now you have to I have the, the ID and the vaccine ID for you to show that you are vaccinated <laughs> good so all these things are very necessary for you to have it in your backpack here on the board here on the on the screen i am showing you some of the things that you always have well in the case of manuel i would like to listen to manuel manuel what is something that you always have in your bag okay in a mochila de manuel good evening teacher good evening i write um my computer, the computer charger, the the phone charger, uh -huh. uh, a bottle of water, the headphones, uh -huh. uh, surgical mask, uh -huh. alcohol gel, uh -huh. um, I'm a I'm, I'm a, a chiropractic student and I always have a little bottle with herbal oil. Hey, and... wow. And I, I usually wear a kerchief, creo que se dice, kerchief. Es una pañoleta. Oh, okay, okay, good. Handkerchief, and... a handkerchief. Uh, in the glass. In the glasses. Do you use do you use any type of gun? Yeah, yes. uh, my gun, pero la ando en una cangurera, no sé cómo se le dice. Oh, in a in a waist bag, waist, waist bag. bag. 
Oh, that's cool. That's curious. Victor, what is the normal backpack of Victor besides all the cleaning supplies that you always have? Well, in my backpack, I only use my laptop and the charger and my, as, as I say, my personal cleaning supplies. Okay. I have yeah. a gun, but, but I don't keep on my, on my backpack. Oh, okay. I, hide, <laughs> I, I usually hide on my car. Oh, you have it on your car. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now we know. Now we know that Victor is a protected man. That's very good. Yeah, because, because <laughs> around 10 years ago, uh -huh. I work as a salesperson and oh. we, we recollect that. We collected? We collect a lot of money. Oh, that's why. Yeah, that was so per personal it, it, safety. It, so it was, was very risky, that, that job. But at the end, we have a rover. Oh, we okay. It, but we have to defend. It's a lorry story. I but know. At the end, but at the end, I have to change of, of work. Oh. And I work for La Constancia since six years ago. Okay, good, good, very good. You see, my God, you are, you, you are actually full of new things. Imagine Manuel is a chiropractical student. That's very interesting. Imagine he ha always has herbal oil with him. Curiously, that's very curious. Mr. Jose Wilfredo, you always have your tools with you. Sí, eh, keys, cell phone, eh, no sé cómo se dice, alcohol, gel. Ah, alcohol, yeah, alcohol, it's okay. Ajá, y mascarillas de repuesto. And extra masks. Ah, es, sí, ex es que yo ando en motocicleta, entonces tengo que andar preparado con las herramientas, mascarillas para cambiarme porque el humo y toda la... El polvo me las arruinan rápido. Oh yes. my God, yes. Yeah, I know, I know. You see, it's very <laughs> curious. Let's ask a lady. Uh -huh. Let's see, Helen, besides the hairbrush, what else do you have in your bag? Mm, I need to see, I have a lot of things. <laughs> I have, um, this is, yeah, for the air. <laughs> no, cream. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Okay. And the, 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 how do you say cartera, pero de, de mujer? The, ah, purse. that's the, the purse or the wallet. Uh -huh. Well, yeah. And have a really big <laughs> airbrush. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I have some medicines and pills and money. <laughs> and a tinbrush. Oh, it, that's and makeup. 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 Yeah. Okay. And I use. Uh, how do you say it's a stera, but for the for the braces. Oh, for it's, the braces. Uh huh. Uh, it's um. Uh, wax. Say. <laughs> like a lip. Yeah. yeah. No, it's a yeah, kind of. Yeah, one. I have one. <laughs> it's a kind of serum. But it's for the for the braces. It's like kind of um, uh, a gel or something that they put on the braces that they have in the, on their teeth. You're talking about yeah. when you have to use breaks on your on your teeth. Uh -huh. I mean, she was talking about uh, that type of serum. Es una, es un tipo de ah. cera para los uh, brackets. Like Vaseline. I don't really know. Mm -hmm. I have never had. I used to I use think... I used to use breakers almost five years, but I you didn't never... use that kind of serum. <laughs> yeah. You don't want to see. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so you yeah. see, we are learning. And you take a uh, fine uh -huh. piece and you, can... you put, yeah. Hey, that's cool. Okay, you see, we are learning here. Catherine, what is the normal, What is what are the normal things that you find in your purse? Hi, good evening. Hello. <laughs> um, I usually uh, use in my bag uh, the wallet, uh, glasses, um, uh, extra mask, uh -huh. um, headphones, and my computer. 
the computer charger and the cell phone charger. The cell phone charger. I think that's a must. Mm -hmm. In the past, we used to have just just the cell phone and that's it, right? Right? No que a mil cien nunca se descargaba. But now you need to have the cell phone charger. It's a must. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Thank you very um, much for, uh, yeah. Okay. You, were my, you were going to mention something else? Uh, the Fraga. Okay, good. Very good. Excellent. <laughs> I mean, okay. it's a lady's purse. You need to have it. So here <laughs> on the really example... <laughs> <laughs> it's necessary. Uh, what's yeah. in your bag? And I have here some examples. The address book, a camera. We almost never have a camera because now you have it on the cell phone, right? That's a very old picture. A hairbrush, keys, a cell phone, a wallet, sunglasses, a CD player. Imagine in the past when you used to have a CD player. And um, these were some examples of things that you have there in your bag. Here, what are other objects that you can see that you have there in, near um, your desk? Book. For notebook. sure. You have yes. a notebook. A pencil. A pencil. Camera. A pencil. Watch. You can see a Clock. camera. Watch. You see a camera. Watch. You have a watch. What else? Uh, other, what other, other, other book. An address book. Good. Very good. You have an address book. What else? Uh, radio. Dex. Radio. Dex. Trash. Uh, okay. In that case, that's not a trash can. That's called waste basket. Waste basket. Waste basket desk. or a desk. trash. A desk, for sure. A desk. This is an alarm. Desk. Alarm, alarm clock. An alarm, alarm clock. Right? You have an alarm clock. You have a notebook, you have a dictionary. You have a dictionary there. A dictionary, a camera, paper. a watch. Paper. A paper, good, you have paper as well. You have paper, you have a camera, a watch, a dictionary, a pen, a pencil, an address book, an alarm clock, and a desk for sure. And the drawers. Do you know what's the meaning of drawer? No. Gavetas. Oh. It's a drawer, right? A drawer. Oh. What, what is it? What's the basket? A waste basket. A waste basket is el, el basurero. O se puede um. llamar también trash can. Okay? Trash can es el, el, el basurerito que tenemos. Sí. Esas dos maneras son las más comunes. But waste basket is the one that you have like next to your desk. Que ahí solo tiramos papelitos y cositas así como, como mínimas, se podría decir. Trash can, ahí va de todo tipo de basura. That's trash can. Mm -hmm. But something curious that I was mentioning, that uh, I said, we have a notebook, right? We have a pencil. We have a camera, right? We have a watch. We have an address book, right? We have a waste basket. For sure, we have a desk. We have also an alarm clock. We have a dictionary, a pen, a, let's see, a piece of paper, we can say, a piece of paper, because that's to make it singular, because paper is uncountable in this case, and a drawer and a trash can for sure. What difference can you see between the use of a and n? When you use uh, n is when the, the word, uh, how do you say, empieza? It starts uh, with a vowel. It starts with a vowel, exactly oh, like that. With a, <laughs> with a vowel, yeah. with a vowel sound. Exactly, with a vowel or with a vowel sound. And the, in the case of a, You use it with, if you use yeah. an with vowels, you use a with? Consonants. Consonants, right, with the consonants. Remember the vowels, right? Which are the vowels? A, E, I, O, U, right? Those are the vowels, A, E, I, O, U. Those are the vowels. Those are the ones that you are going to use and 
with, right? And some vowel sounds that we have there. So here we have some extra examples. I'm going to migrate these ones to the next part here on the new vocabulary. I'm going to, to paste them there. I am going to change the color because it looks kind of horrible in that way. And we're going to go on white, good. So here, uh, what other objects do you have there that you want to know the name? You say like, teacher, how do you say, uh, I don't know, uh, escalera or secadora de pelo or something like that. What is something that you have in your bag that you don't know the name? Uh, Mr. Victor was mentioning, for example, in the case of the toothbrush right? The toothbrush is the one that you use to brush your teeth, right? Some of you mentioned also the lipstick, right? It's the one that you use to put on your, on your lips, right? To make up them. What is another object that you have in your bag that you want to know the name? Uh-huh. What else do you have in your bag that you don't know the name? Que hay otro objeto ahí que no saben cómo se llama. And if you don't have more ideas, it's okay as well. El in recipiente the... de la basura? Oh, that's a waste basket. Oh, okay. The waste basket or the trash can. Trash can. Okay, here we have toothbrush. In the case of toothbrush, do you use a or n? A. Uh, uh, a toothbrush, right? And the lipstick? Uh, a lipstick. Uh, a lipstick. An alcohol gel bottle? I gave uh, you the uh, answer. Um. <laughs> I gave you the answer. Oh, <laughs> an alcohol gel bottle, good. Um, a mask. Right, the mask. What was something else that you mentioned? Mm. The laptop, uh -huh. the hairbrush, the headphones. Ah, the headphones, good. I am going to write the hairbrush and headphones. Okay, in this case, headphone, it's already plural because you cannot only use one because you cannot just have only one because mm -hmm. you need to have the two. So headphones, that it's already plural. What else? A charger. In the case of the charger, do you use A or N? Uh, A charger, uh. good, very good. Okay, what else do you have there in your bag that you don't know the name? I always have a USB. A flash memory. A flash memory, right? Or a USB memory, good. Let's leave it on flash so we can use the A, uh, right? A flash memory, good. For sure, you always have your cell phone, right? In the hand. Yeah, uh, yeah you are all, you always have it in your hands. And when someone yeah. calls you, you never answer. <laughs> never. Okay, so I think we can we can work with this ones, right? Can you think of more examples on which on which you use an? Mm. Acordémonos de ejemplos que donde podamos ocupar an. Everything Maybe or with, uh, only you have it in your bag? With everything, with examples. Uh, Victor, which one you were mentioning? For example, when, when you're talking about fruit. Uh -huh. For example, yeah. apple, orange. Okay, okay, with an apple. It, well, in some cases, this is something that you have in your in your bag, an apple <laughs> or an orange. And something that you always have with you, mostly now in these days, and... 
an umbrella. umbrella. Yeah, you say an umbrella. Because if not, it's going to be in the middle of the rain and you are going to be there all wet, right? Y ahí vas a estar con la carita empapada. Right? <laughs> <laughs> y, y nadie va a llegar con rosas. No, 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 no. <laughs> An umbrella. Good, very good. So, uh, let me see. Well, in some cases, we have a cap with us, right? A cap, it's una, una gorra, right? A cap. And the glasses, for sure. So, the idea of this one, it was for you to analyze and for you to differentiate the use of a and an, right? All of these have something particular. A and an have something particular. What is the difference that you see from all these names with this one? The plural. They are talking about plurals. Exactly like that, right? That in the case of headphones, we are talking about plurals. And what it's something that plurals do not have. What it's something that you don't use with plurals. Analyze it. What is something that you don't use with plurals? Compare it with the other words that we have there. Si lo comparamos con todas las demás palabras que tenemos, ¿cuál es la diferencia? They don't have the and up I don't know how to say articles 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 they don't have an article why because you don't say a headphones because if not you were going to be saying un eh, un audífonos <clears throat> and that would be totally incorrect so with plurals you don't use a or n because it will be incorrect imagine if you have notebooks right cuadernos and if you have a notebooks it will be un cuadernos and that it's totally incorrect right si no allá no van a ver en un tiktok por ahí con, con uno que sale con un boleto así y dice un cuadernos so it's like no <laughs> it's not possible right you don't have to use a or an with a plurals okay so it's something for you to keep in mind. I don't want you to be there in the final presentation using a or and with plurals, okay? That's something for you to keep in mind. So headphones is plural and you don't use a or and. A notebook is singular and you use a or and because you say a notebook, right? Con que podríamos reemplazar la palabra a? A notebook. Con que sería lo único que la podríamos reemplazar? One. Exactly like that. Very good job. One notebook. Because you are talking about only one thing. But to make it simple, we say, I have a notebook. Right? I have a notebook. And it's the same phrase, the same word. Un cuaderno. It's the same use. Excellent. So I'm going to leave the new vocabulary there. So I and N have the same meaning, right? They are indefinite articles. The difference depends on the sound at the beginning of the next word. When the next word starts with a consonant, you use a. And when the next word starts with a vowel, you use an. Can you help me to read the examples? My dear students, everybody, read the examples. A book. A book. A, uh -huh. a car. A car. A dog. A dog. A dog. A truck, a truck, un camion, a truck, an apple, an apple, an apple, an, apple. an egg, an, an insect, egg. an orange, an, orange. Orange. an umbrella, an, umbrella. An, actor. An, actor. an actor. Do you know the meaning of all of them? Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. What is the meaning of frog? Rana. <laughs> Yes. Um, a A es como una. Yes. Un, un, un una. Un, oh, uh, y, uh, en, it's the same. Un, un una. The meaning uh? is the same. The <laughs> meaning is the same. Un una. It's the same. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. For a and n, the only difference is the sound of the beginning of the next word, right? 
Lo único que varía, las dos significan lo mismo. I and significan un o una en Spanish. Lo único sí. que hace la diferencia es la siguiente palabra que lo acompaña. Si es vocal, tiene que ser an. Porque no podemos decir a apple, a egg, a insect. We cannot have two vowel sounds together. So that's why it changes. But the meaning is the same, right? And in this case, you have a with a consonant here, right? A consonant sound. A book, a car, a frog, a lemon, a truck, an apple, an egg, an insect, an umbrella, an orange, an actor. Okay, so that's the use of a and an. Very good job. Is it clear? Can we move on in the next things? Podemos seguir con lo que, con lo que viene? Si ya está claro el uso de a y an? Yeah. Yes? Good, very yeah. good. So, yes. if we understand the use of a and an, we are going to understand the use of this, that, this, and those. What is the difference? This and that is for singular forms. And these and those are for plural forms. Plural. What is the difference? This is for something singular that you have close to you, that you can touch. Ooh. Okay? And that is for something singular that you cannot touch, but you can point. Say, that bottle, this bottle, okay? Mm -hmm. That you cannot touch and that it's far and that it's singular, right? These, these, can you open your mouth, say these, these books, and you can touch them, right? You have them there. And if you ask for them, you can actually see them, right? These books. But if, if you are not touching them and you just point at them, you say, those are books, okay? So that's the difference. Exactly. So you say, esto, aquello. Estos, aquellos. Yes, exactly like that. So that's the difference between these, that, these, and those. So now, as I did it here, that I show you one object and I said, this bottle, these books, I need you to show me one object that you have there, near you. Busquen, busquen un objeto que tengan ahí cerca. Un objeto en singular o plural. Y me lo muestran. So I am showing you, these are books. Show me one object that you have there. <clears throat> Let's see. We're going to stop sharing for a moment because I want to see your, ah, Carlos Alexander, give me the sentence. A bottle, this, this bottle. This is a bottle, right? This is a bottle. Manuel. This is a bottle. Very good. This is a pen. This is a pen. Very good. Show me the objects. I can see all your cameras, so don't worry. Oh. Lionel. Uh, this is a notebook. This is a notebook. This is a notebook. A notebook. Very good. Helen. Oh, I have a notebook. <laughs> okay, this, this is, is a notebook. Okay, what is the difference? This is a pink notebook, you say. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> for one dollar, for one. <laughs> Take, taking advantage of the class, right? You know, this, yeah. you know, I'll buy for the different colors. Hey, like that's it. cool. <laughs> so you say, these are toothbrushes. <laughs> <laughs> say good no three three, oh. three for one dollar uh, okay this good this is, for a dollar. This, is a pen. this is a pen this good is a pen. very good this is a pen very nice Catherine what is your object uh, a scissor. so in that case you say these are scissors these are... right these mm -hmm. are scissors Heriberto what is your object what is that? Ah, a wallet. So, but the microphone, honey, I cannot listen to you. 
Heriberto nos comparte el secreto Mira, de la felicidad. Sí, lo hizo. Hey, your, your microphone. Heriberto, el micrófono no lo oigo. Delia, what is your object? This is a cell phone. This, this is a cell phone. Wilfredo. Pencil. This is a pencil, right? Andres, what is your object? It's a pencil. This is a pencil. <laughs> ah, nail clipper. A clipper. Nail clipper. Nail clipper. Nail clipper. Good. Edwin, what is your object? This is my t shirt. Ah, <laughs> my t shirt and my t shirt, right? <laughs> okay, if you say, this is my teacher, <clears throat> it's me. But this one is that? Conté al final. Aha, uh -huh. but you say, this is my T-shirt, right? T-shirt. And this one, it's teacher. T-shirt, good. This one yes. is good, like, como si fuera un objeto. This one is a teacher, good. Laura, Pamela, what is your object? This is a eraser. This is? An eraser. An, an, porque an eraser, eraser comienza con e. An eraser, an eraser, good. René, what is your object? This is a cell phone. This is a cell phone, very good. Let me see. Eh, Estreberto, what is your object? Estreberto, what is your object? Ah, ok. ¿Alguien ahí? Pencil. A pencil, ok. No te veo, no te veo. Uh, Jacqueline is busy, she's working. And Álvaro, what is your object? Teacher. Yes. ¿Cómo se dice? Ah, that's a, a mosquito racket. Ah, that's a racket. <laughs> It's very necessary nowadays. That's a must. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> What is that, Andres? Una navaja, no sé cómo se. <laughs> okay. Um, I think. I, well, I. Acaba de venir del trabajo, dice. Está <laughs> okay. Hey, come on. <laughs> Manuel, Manuel, alianza, eh? Man Manuel, mire. <laughs> mm, ah. It's a pocket knife. A pocket knife, a pocket knife. Good, very good. Thank you for, for the one who helped me. Now, I need you to find an object in plural. I need you to find two of the same thing. Let me see. Turn, turn, turn. Two of the same thing. A plural object. A plural object. Well, I found one. These are flowers. These are flowers. <laughs> yes, flowers. Flowers. Uh -huh. Big <laughs> These are rivets. What is that? I don't know how to say this. One. Those are rivets. Some rematches. Oh, wow. Cool. Oh my God. Victor has everything. <laughs> He has a little store. Oh, cool. Very nice. Okay. These are bottles. These are bottles. <laughs> Three for one dollar. <laughs> okay, good. Bottles. Bottles. These are bottles, right? Bottles. Three for one. Three for one dollar. Oh my good. Okay. Okay. These are bottles. Lionel, what do you have? Uh, these are uh, dogs. <laughs> these are I dogs. Okay, ah, dog, in that dog. case, you say, these are dogs. Remember, that with the plurals, you don't use a or an. <laughs> these are dogs, and all of them, like... And, um... <laughs> Very nice. Manuel, what is your plural object? I don't have uh, any right now. Well, but you have one right there. Let me show it to you. And you have one, and okay, I have one, too. Okay. You see? You have it. These are? These are? Glasses. Phone chargers. <laughs> oh, phone chargers. <laughs> But you have your glasses as well. And this yeah, is too. plural, right? These are glasses. <clears throat> you have it. Oh. Okay. 
Esa es la que les hace los exámenes. Cuando me vean con lentes, aflijan. <laughs> yeah, my, my little kid says that he has two mothers. The one with glasses, it's the angry one. And the one without glasses, it's the happy one. <laughs> and it's like, okay. Modo serio. Yeah, modo serio on. <laughs> Helen, what is your plural Poker object? face. <laughs> oh, okay. What is These your... These are candy. Um, three for one dollar. For That's Halloween, what? yeah. Okay. I have yeah. a my goodness, oh my goodness. Delia, what is your plural object? Yeah, no sé cómo se dice. Pillows, pillows. These are pillows. Mr. Wilfredo. No, they are, they are pillows. The ones that you put in the, in the. No sé cómo se dice. The ones you put in, 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 the, in the sofa. It's the same, pillows. Almohadas. Pillows, like that, like Pillows. this one. Yeah, exactly like that one. Those are containers. Containers in good Salvadorian, guacales. <laughs> in English, containers. In Salvadorian, guacales. <laughs> there you have your guacales. They are lavaderos de ropa. Heriberto, what is your plural object? Pero hoy sí, ábrame el micrófono porque no le oigo. <laughs> no. <clears throat> okay. okay, thank you, Heriberto. I think, okay, por ahí hay un microfonito que sale en rojo, Heriberto. Pero me lo vamos a poner por aquí. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Maybe you, you have it there. We are learning together, don't worry. Don't worry. Let me see. Edwin, what is your plural object? Mr. Edwin, what is your plural object? I don't know. You don't have any plural thing? Estaba distraído. Estaba distraído ahorita. Ajá. Ya ve. <laughs> Por eso no Teacher. me enamoro yo. Ajá. Ronnie. Teacher. Yes. Yes, a choice. These are shoes. These are shoes. Okay. These are shoes. Put them back. Put them back. Okay. <laughs> These are shoes. Okay, good. So that's the use of the singulars and the plurals, right? Thank you very much for all your fantastic examples, my dear students. Very original, I might say. Or very original examples. So here you have the different uh, forms that we were doing, right? Remember that these and that, right? The different forms of using and a and an that it's for vowels and a is for consonants. So if you have this one here, and I am going to write it back. If you have the first sentence, it says this is a book. What is missing? A book, right? This is a book. A book. This is eraser. An eraser. An eraser. An eraser, right? This is an eraser. English, English book. An English. An English. English book. Dictionary. Ah. Ah. This is a dictionary. Not book. This is a notebook. Encyclopedia. This is an encyclopedia. Encyclopedia. Okay, everybody, can you help me to read the sentences, please? Go ahead. One, two, three. This is a book. This is a book. This is a book. This is an encyclopedia. I need you to write on your notebook, okay? Yo creo que todos tienen su cuaderno ahí. I need you to write three examples with these. Three examples using these. Go ahead. Porque después los van a leer todos. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. It can be about anything. This is a door, this is a cat, this is a... Uh, 
dog, this is a, an orange, whatever. But I need you to write three examples using these. Three. Three examples. Escucho una mini estudiante. <laughs> Very cute. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, but it sounds so cute. <laughs> She's learning. Oh, hi. Hello. Hola, digas. Hello. 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 <laughs> this is so cute. Okay, three. Oh my goodness, she's speaking in English. You see? <laughs> oh, it's so cute. Sorry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Three examples with these. It's so cute. If you have your examples, you can uh, you can actually share it. Hey, Mr. Ariberto, you fix your audio. Hoy ya lo podemos oír, Ariberto. A ver. How do you say globos? Balloon. Balloons. 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 <coughs> Victor, oh, do you have your examples? No, I'm not. No, I'm ready. Sí. Okay, okay, okay. Three examples. If you have them ready, let me know. Yeah, ready. Okay, go ahead. Read them, please, Helen. Okay, this is a TV. This is a T-shirt. And this <clears throat> is a balloon. This is a balloon. Very good. Thank you very much. Two claps for you. Another one. I need another person to read the three examples. Open your microphone and read your examples. Um, Go, uh, Lionel. This is a wallet. wallet. This is a wallet, uh huh. This is an orange. This is an orange, uh huh. Uh, this is this is. This is a desk. A desk. Good. Very good. William, your examples. The microphone, sweetie. This is a pencil. Uh -huh. This is a wallet. Uh -huh. uh, oh, okay. Okay. I will, I will give you the chance for you to write the other one. Carlos Alexander, go ahead. Eh, salió un ratito a trabajar, pero voy a hacer el intento. It's okay. Eh, this is a book. Uh -huh. This is a notebook. And this is an orange. An orange. Erase. Good, very good. An eraser. Good, very good. Let me see who else. Another volunteer for the examples. This is a kiss. Uh -huh. These are This keys. is a pencil. Uh -huh. This is a watch. Very good, very good. Let me see, Delia, your examples. This is a tea. This is a ventilador, no sé cómo se dice. A fan, a fan. Fan. This is a, an airy. Earring. Oh, ah, an, an earring. Earrings. Earring. An earring. <laughs> I have the examples right yes, here. Yes. <laughs> this is an earring, right? Very good. Okay, very good. An earring. It is only one, it's an earring, but if you have the two, these are earrings. Good. Very good job. Let me see. Laura Pamela, what is your example? This is a desk. This is a dog. Uh -huh. This is a an eraser. An eraser. Good. Very good. Rani, go ahead. This is an apple. An apple. Uh -huh. This is a TV. This is a TV. This is a, this is pencil. 
This is a pencil. This is a pencil. Good. Very good. A pencil. A, a pencil. Oh. Good. <clears throat> Catherine, your examples. This, this is a TV control. A TV control, uh huh. These are notebooks. Uh huh. Uh, this is a lamp. This is a lamp. Very good. Let me see. Uh, Mauricio, Mauricio, Manuel, do you have your examples? Uh, this is a surgical mask. Uh huh. This is a cup. Good. And this, these are, uh, como se dice? Cartridges. Cartridges. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, cartridges. <clears throat> Good, very good, very good. And everybody's like, oh my God. <laughs> yeah, so those things are very nice. They're very excellent examples, the ones that we got. Very nice job. Someone else? Alguien más que quiera compartir sus ejemplos? Teacher, yes? if you want to say a plural of teacher, and you say pair, pair of teacher. Yes. Well, in the case of scissors, it doesn't have a singular. No podemos decir, this is a scissor, porque siempre son plurales. Mm -hmm. Es como shorts or pants. No podemos decir, this, this is a pants. Podemos decir, these are scissors. Only like that. These are scissors. Or if you say, this is a pair of scissors. But in that case, you are referring just like un par de tijeras. But it's mm. that's the singular form that we can use. But in the case of shorts or pants, you say these are pants because they are plural. Okay, they are always okay. plural. Thank you. Thank you for the okay. question. Okay. Very nice. So let's go here. We're going to continue here. Sure. Yes? ¿Cómo se dice gorra? Cap. ¿Cómo se dice gorra? Cap. Cap. C A P. Hat. Sombrero, ¿verdad? No, hat, hat. is sombrero. sombrero. Okay, let me hat. just go back here. Sombrero. Cap, yes. and then I have it right here. Cap, the last one, la última que tenemos aquí es gorra. And if you say a hat, right? Hat is sombrero. Sombrero, sombrero. Yes. There you go. Okay, that's for the new vocabulary. Let's go here. So in this case, and I have some examples here. For the examples that I have presented, you say board. How do you use uh, the articles with this one. Do you use a or an? A board. A board. A board, right? You say a board. A board. it is a board. Una pizarra. A book bag. What do you say? Book bag. A book. A book. A book bag. Cassette player. A cassette player. A cassette player. Chair. A chair. A chair, right? A chair. The next one. Clock. A clock. A clock. A clock, right? A clock. I'm going to move this one here. Desk. A desk. A desk. A desk. A dictionary. A dictionary. A dictionary. What about door? A door. A door. Map. A map. A map. Pen? A pen. A pen. Good. Very good. Pencil? Pencil. A pencil. A table? A table. A table. Wall? A wall. A wall. A wall. Waste basket? A wall. A waste basket. And window? A window. A window. Right? A window. And for sure, if you get in a spelling, how do you spell dictionary? Oh. How do you spell dictionary? D I O I I O N A I C Dictionary. D I C T I I O N A R Y. How do you spell waste basket? Very good. 
How do you spell desk? D E S K. An easy one. How do you spell map? M A P. How do you spell cassette player? C C-L-A-Y-E-R player. Very good job. So, all the... Yes? Una pregunta en español. Este, ¿por qué en esta ocasión la letra A que en inglés se dice A, pero se pronuncia en español. Ah. <laughs> okay, it's because it's the way that you use an article, because you connect the word, you connect the letter with the next consonant sounds that you have there. You cannot say a cassette player. Okay, you say a cassette player. It's the, when you join it with the consonant and the use of the article in this case. It is because it is an article in this case. Y es por el uso, por la finalidad que tiene como artículo, tiene su pronunciación propia. So, so, you, okay. Okay, and if you use it in, an, in the normal mm. alphabet, you say um, A. And there are some people, and there is a, a use in the British form, but you say a board, a book bag, right? And it has a specific sound, and it has a, a different thing. But in this case, it's Ah, a cassette player, a chair, a clock, a desk, a dictionary, a door, a map, right? It's the sound of the article. Very good question. I think it's the first time that they asked me that. And it's very good. Qué bien. Qué buena pregunta, Carlos Alexander. Siempre bueno hacer ese tipo de pregunta. What about this one? We have this example before. What's this? It's a waste basket. What's a uh, earring? What do you this. use here? This. What's this? This. Uh huh. This is a earring. Uh huh. Si ocupamos, si ocupamos it para sustituir el singular, qué ocuparíamos para referirnos a un plural? Are they? They very good. They. We're going to use it later. What's this? So you say here. They. It's an they. earring. Earring, right? They. Earring. And what are they. these? They. Because these. it's plural. So you say they are. They are. They are earring. earrings. Earrings. And period, right? right? They are earrings. And the last example of the night, I think I have it right here. Okay, this is the singular, I think I had, oh no, I just had this one. Oh, it's right here. I have it right here. And what will be the form of this one? What are those? Yeah. What are these because we these. have them right what are these uh -huh. what are these these are stamps a stamp. good and this is another form of answer that's it's okay right these are stamps but you can say these are stamps or they are stamps what are these porque ya son plurales no podemos hacer solo uno a menos que sea pirata <laughs> what are these <laughs> They are? They are sunglasses. Sunglasses. Good. Sunglasses. Sunglasses. They are sunglasses. And what's? They are a... Uh, what's this? What is this? Uh-huh. This is a CD player. This is a CD player. CD player. CD player. Algunos están muy jóvenes para saberlo. It's a CD player. Mm -hmm. No estamos listos para esta conversación. <laughs> it is a CD player. It was the best invention of the world, but you couldn't move it because if not, it, it will stop. Si la movías, se paraba el CD. It was horrible. <laughs> so you should have it like this all the time. 
So it is subscribe for the. <clears throat> that was the, the yes. Why uh, do you use in the exam this and in the sunglasses they are? Okay, it was a bit, that's a good question. You have these two options of answering. You can say, what are these? These are stamps and you can answer because you are showing it. Or you can say, they are stamps. The two forms it's are correct. The same. It's the same. You can replace it for a noun, for a pronoun in this case, in the case of they, you can use the pronoun or you can use the word, this. And the meaning will be the same. Okay. Okay, good, very good. And I am going to show you just the last conversation because we are about to finish. And it says, wow, what's this? It's a camera. Oh, cool. Thank you, Helen. It's great. You're welcome. Okay. Now, <laughs> open this box. Okay. Uh, mm, what are these? Um, they're earrings. Oh, they are um, interesting. Thank you, Rex. They're very nice. <laughs> So <laughs> look at the earrings. They were very beautiful. Okay, repeat with me and we're going to go to bed. Wow, what's this? Wow, wow. 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 what's this? It's a camera. It's, it's a, a camera. 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 Oh, cool. Camera. Oh, 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 cool. cool. Thank you, Helen. It's great. It's great. You're welcome. It's great. You're welcome. You are welcome. You are now, welcome. now open this box. Now, now open this box. Open this box. Okay, uh, what are these? Okay. They are earrings. They are earrings. Oh, they are interesting. Thank you, Rex. The oh, very 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 thank you, Rex. Thank you, Rex. Thank you, Rex. They are very nice. They are very nice. They are very nice. Okay. So they are very nice. They are very nice. It's like, huh? Nice. They are very nice. On Monday, we are going to continue talking about this. But for Monday, I need you to investigate the rules for the plurals. Okay, for Monday, I need you to investigate the rules for the plurals. You can find this on the internet, but we're going to take advantage of this uh, for the next class on Monday, okay? So my dear students, here you have the homework for Monday, investigate the rules for plurals, okay? Thank you very much for being here. Thank you very much for joining on Friday. I promise that it will never happen again. And I am going to see you on Monday for another class. Have a beautiful weekend. Take care of yourselves. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. Goodbye. 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 Have a good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Bye.